You read it right. Just one song today. We have No Such Thing by John Mayer. I'm, I'm also going to add the demo version as well. The studio and demos are up really, really great. So, yeah, just tell me tell me what your favorite one is on our Instagram at WYLTP. Um, so, yeah, I like the song because it relates heavily to a book I just picked up from a thrift store. Um, you may have heard of it. It's called the Originals, How Nonconformists Move the World by Adam Grant. So, yeah, I just started it. Just started it. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah, the song popped up when I was cooking some food. No such thing by John Mayer. And, yeah, I was like, hmm, this is really connected to this book I just wrote. I'm reading. So, yeah, some strong relations to the book and the song meaning. So... John Mayer's song, uh, No Such Thing, basically, is just talking about taking risks, doing what you actually like, and when we grow up after our schooling days, the system or the real world doesn't really exist, you know? The They, the teachers, basically just want you to follow the plan, not really challenge the system, so, yeah, they just want you to follow what they do, you know? And that that can be very dangerous at times, so we'll we'll get to that. But so this, in in the song, the line they love to tell you, they love to tell you, stay inside the lines. This really stood out to me. Like no offense to the teachers, but they're probably doing something they don't really enjoy, and they never reach their dream that they had when they were a kid. So yeah, they kind of take it on in the students. They're angry at the students for not like doing what they're saying or if they see a student who's just like succeeding doing what they really want to do it kind of probably makes them angry because yeah then they never got to reach in so they're not they're not rewarding creativity and actually they kind of like punish it you know and relating this back to the book originals in the first chapter the creative destruction chapter it starts with a quote by george bernard shaw which says he states, uh, the reasonable, the reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. So good quote, right? Really good quote. So yeah, the people who really, how I'm interpreting this is it just shows that like, um, like the stubborn so-called troublemakers and the punks who question the world um, and how it works. Uh, They're the ones who are leaving more impact and actually changing the world. And they're the ones who's going to be remembered. That Those are the names that are going to be remembered in the future. Those are the people who are going to have like the cool like Wikipedia pages, you know, with all these cool things that they've done. So, yeah, they don't. The school system doesn't really reward these creative kids. They just label them as troublemakers. And we'll get, we'll get more into that. Um, and the, the the society, there's also this idea where society like praises like these child prodigies, you know. Um, another quote from the book. So child prodigies, it turns out, rarely go on to change the world. Sure, they're incredibly talented at playing guitar or piano or they could be grandmasters in chess but yeah they they they're playing within the lines in the system they don't really make any dents or changes in the world they're really really good at what they do but they're not changing the game you know they're they're good at replicating like mozart's music but it's not an original piece you know so yeah just trying to make trying to get some more creativity and outside of the lines you know it's kind of like like coloring uh coloring a picture rather than just creating your own you know so another really great paragraph from this book was uh, research demonstrates that it is the most creative children who are the least likely to become the teacher's pet in one study, elementary school teachers listed uh, their favorite and least favorite students. 
and then rated both groups on a list of characteristics. The least favorite students were nonconformists who made up their own rules. Teachers tend to discriminate, discriminate against highly creative students, labeling them as troublemakers. In response, many children quickly learn to get with the program, keeping their original ideas to themselves. In the language of author William, I'm probably going to butcher this last name, Dere Seawicks. They become the world's most excellent sheep. Relating this idea back to no such thing, uh, basically the lyrics. So good boys and girls take the so-called right track and always following the teachers and not challenging the status quo. This is that traditional route that will work for most people. The right track is the safe route that society, teachers, and counselors see. But yeah, just if you want to be like everybody, you're going to be a sheep. So yeah, get them. They want you to get that job that pays pays enough to fill your needs, but there's no creativity in that. You're not going to change the world on this so-called right track. Great ideas and thinkers are suppressed with this idea and this way of thinking by trying to live this cookie-cutter lifestyle. So it's just not, I don't know, It's if you want to stand out, you can't just do this, this cookie-cutter lifestyle, you know? But I, I remember reading one of uh, John Mayer's Instagram posts when he didn't get to walk for his high school graduation, he was part of the band who was playing the music for the ceremony, which was kind of funny. But yeah, it's just a, it's just like a fun counterculture story, challenging the system and just John Mayer being super unconventional with his career. Um, and there was another really great video I was watching called 20 questions with Mr. Beast. It was a M MKBHD video. Um, but yeah, he, Mr. Beast said that, um, he said a quote that resonated with me and this whole idea of uh, being original. Um, he said, you're crazy and you're crazy until you're successful, until you're successful, then you're a genius. So it's pretty true, you know, so you people have like this obsession um, with their, their hobbies or whether that's guitars, like in John Mayer's case, um, I actually read on his uh, Wikipedia page that his par Mayor's parents actually took him to a psychiatrist two times to see if he was healthy, which is kind of crazy. So he was really, he must have been really, really into the guitar. So, yeah, and there was another example. Uh, it was Sir James Dyson, the inventor of the Dyson vacuum cleaner, actually, who went through 500 or 5,127 prototypes. That's, yeah, that is definitely obsessed. Uh, but both, yeah, are, were incredibly successful in their respective fields. Mayor left a dent in the rock, pop, blues, and guitar scene in general. Like, Neon is definitely one of his praise in the guitar world. It's, it sounds amazing. <laughs> it's cool. Um, and Dyson definitely just, wrote, like, elevated the standard of what a vacuum should be the technology for it and yeah it's, it's amazing what they've been doing so yeah it, it may seem crazy to everybody else who's living that cookie cutter lifestyle they don't get to see their dreams come true they don't get to leave a dent in the world after they leave they don't really get remembered you know sure like staying in between staying in between the lines is pretty safe you know you don't but there's there's no you're not going to be remembered in the future by just working like that job for that Walmart job. No, no offense to Walmart, you know, or the people that work there, but you can work there for 50 years and they just they probably won't care about you. You won't be remembered too well. Like that's just being honest, but so yeah, low risk, low reward, big risk, big reward. So yeah, yeah. yeah. If if that's making any sense, if I'm if I'm crazy, just tell me, you know. So, uh, yeah, do what you like to challenge the status quo and be unreasonable. The unreasonable people are going to be remembered and they're going to change the world. So, 
yeah that's that's all uh, that's all for this episode um all links are below in the show notes follow us on instagram at w-a-y-l-d-p and twitter at w-a-y-l-d-p-1 thanks again see you on the next episode mm-hmm.